Hi guys, my name is Victor and this is my second Blender tutorial. Today we're going to be modeling this pine cone. I just quickly made this uh, and this is one actually a uh, duplicate of this one. I just scaled them and uh, I change the shape by using proportional editing. So uh, I'm making here the forest. So I decided to make uh, pine cones for my pine trees. And to make this tutorial, hopefully it will be a quick tutorial. Uh, so let's quickly get dive into it. I'll enable here a screencast key, so you can see what I'm pressing. Uh, what I'm pressing here in the lower corner. Uh, so Shift S cursor to center, and we'll start from a simple plane. So Shift A, and I will add a plane. Let's go to the top view. Now let's go to the edit mode and I'll move vertices. And I'll try to make that shape of the pine cone seed. Control R, I'll add a few additional vertices here and there. And let's add a bit curvature here. So that's the basic shape. And maybe scale here. Scale X. Okay. And change the origin. We want origin to be at the base. So Shift S, cursor to select it. Let's go to object mode. Origin to 3D cursor. Shift S, cursor to center. And Oh, sorry, Shift S, selection to cursor. Now let's rotate it, rotate on X axis 90 degrees. So I will see it pointing upwards. And now let's add a few modifiers to that. We're going to be using array modifier and curve modifier for this mesh. Uh, to line up these uh, seats around. So shift A, use it cycle. And this cycle gonna be here in our curve modifier. We have to select it. And you can see uh, that these seeds of, of the pine cone are already go around this cycle because we've just added the array modifier and curve modifier. Now we'll have to tweak and fiddle around with this value. That's not easy, but uh, we have to match up. So we don't have big gaps between of these uh, seeds. Uh, so let's enable eight. This is the count that I found uh, we need for the pine cone. That's enough. Now let's go to the edit mode and uh, press this uh, button so we see uh, how the modifier looks curve modifier in edit mode uh, we have to uh, scale this on x axis okay that's about right yeah that's okay now let's go and select these vertices here and press Ctrl B. So as you can see, it's added uh, those additional vertices to all of these uh, seeds. Now what we will have to do, actually I don't like that uh, at the moment uh, these vertices are a bit too low. I want to shift them a bit by using a double G. I'll shift them a little bit. I'll move them a bit upper. So something like this.
Okay. That's fine. And maybe select this one at the center. Grab on the y axis so we have more enhanced shape here. Uh, okay, let's go to the object mode. Check smooth uh, shading. And yeah, we have to go to the edit mode and recalculate normals by using Ctrl N. That's exactly what we want. Now press Shift D to duplicate all of these meshes. Grab them upwards and scale them down. Actually, we cannot scale them, uh, so we have to apply modifiers for this second uh, duplicate. And now we can scale them. And we can rotate them like this. Scale them down a bit. And let's go to the edit mode and change a few things here. I'll select here the probably these vertices. Scale them down like this. And I'll change this shape a little bit by scaling it as well. Okay. Also, I do not quite like the way these guys are looking at the moment. So I have to go to the edit mode and I will move these vertices as well on the y-axis. Yeah, something like this. Now I'll come back here. I'll duplicate this one again. Grab that. Rotate on that axis. And scale that down again. So we have something like this. We can scale it up a bit. Also go to this one. If you don't like something, it's better to sort it out straight away. Scale them like this. Okay. Grab them down a bit. Like so. So you kind of get the idea now, how do we do that, rotate on that axis, scale that as well, shift G, grab that, scale it down, like that, rotate, that's the basic idea. So grab that, scale that down. Shift G, grab that, rotate that, and scale that down as well. Scale that upwards, maybe, and go to the edit mode. Select these vertices. Okay, let's go to the wire plane. Scale it down a bit. And Alt M, match at center. And now move it something like this. Maybe we can add here. Uh, okay, we'll leave it just 
I'll leave it like that for now. You can also now duplicate this, take that, and scale that like this, and move it here once more, and rotate that. And one more time, rotate on that axis. And scale it. Select these vertices, grab and scale them. Also, what we can do, we can change here to individual origins and scale it like this. And now we can extrude it on that axis and scale it, uh, change the pivot point to median point and scale it again. Okay, you can try to change uh, smooth shading. Actually, it's already on. Yeah, so that's fine. We also can try to add subdivision surface. Let's select all of these. And the last one. Now Ctrl L. Uh, make links to modifiers. Okay, one of them just disappeared. I don't know why. Okay, because this is array. Well, we have to apply this, so apply, apply. That one had modifiers uh, other than subdivision surface, so we have to get rid of them. And now do it again, Control L and make links. So uh, all of these upper parts uh, have this modifier now. And here is our uh, pine cone. Uh, as I said before, you can improve it by selecting some vertices like this. And if you feel like you have to move it a bit like this or like this, you do that. Also, you can try select these middle points. If it's too curvy or if it's not, you can move them as well. Uh, scale them up or down. Bring them up like this or like this. So make uh, changes to your mesh. Now you can go, of course, and join all of these together uh, to change the shape. So press now Control G. Let's go to the edit mode. And what you can do, you can scale it to that axis, you can of course go to the wireframe, select couple of these, Control L, uh, enable proportional editing, and scale them. Uh, I'll do like that, uh, scale shift Z, so we are scaling only on that axis. And to move it like this, for example, go to the object mode and you can see the shape is changed right now. You can of course make it longer, but I feel like this is looking better and you can go to solidify and make a bit thickness to add a bit thickness to that. 
so as you can see we are changing here the thickness so here we go okay that's pretty much it guys uh, thank you for watching this tutorial and see you next time